Good morning, everybody. Happy Mer Monday, right? We've all been waiting for this. I know recently I'm looking at a hairdresser helping hairdressers, wrong side of the Atlantic. I'm seeing a lot of men's perms. I'm seeing a lot of pompadours, a lot of guys going real tight on the sides, but you know, they want some, they want some wave. It's not so just slick back and straight anymore. They want some wave. They want a little bit of texture. And that's kind of where the whole industry seems to be going right now is going back to texture and perming and things like that. And not necessarily the Brady Bunch perm on season four when the entire, everybody had the fro going on. Not, not yet anyway. I'm sure that's probably coming. But anyway, uh, I decided to do this. I thought we'd have a good time with it. I have my supermodel here. This is Mike Schilling. Hey, everyone. Hey, you might remember Mike from our extravaganza we did back in November. I think it was November 16th when we did the Salon Concepts Facebook Live Takeover. Mike was our model then. The same thing, but I decided to do it again. It works so well, and it seems very topical right now. So, but we're going to do this. You see Mike's already pre-wrapped because we're doing this in the, in the production of Enmedius Reds. And Medius Res. And Medius Res is like Inception, like Pulp Fiction. He kind of started towards the end and going back to the beginning. It's a Latin word meaning in the midst of things. So we're going to do this in Medius Res. We're going to start at the end and work our way back to the beginning because, gang, we're doing this in 15 minutes. So you'll have the rest of your day to do whatever you got to do on your day off. Maybe go get some more perm rods and start <laughs> doing merms. Anyway, so Mike has already been processed. Before I processed Mike, we took some. Let me just go grab this over here. We took TRA, the resistant assistant, the hydrolyzed ammonia. We put this in Mike's hair. He does have some gray in there. So we put this in there to soften, soften the hair to get it ready for my perm. And of course, you know, we use this for colors, all those resistant grays and everything else. But for a perm, I don't go anywhere without this. If you see me do my grandmother's hair, you know, this is what gets her there. And grandma's 96 years old. Her hair's pretty resistant. This will get you there, no problem. So when we did that, we processed for 20 minutes using an N1 from Goldwell Definitions, rinsed out. And now what I'm gonna do is in my neutralizer, I'm putting five drops of TCA, the color accelerator. I'm putting five drops of this into my neutralizer. Now give me, let me give you a little hint. See how there's always bubbles at the top of your neutralizer? Blow them out first, okay? Or else the TCA just rolls out. Five drops are going in. What this does is this will Put a beautiful shine on the hair for starters makes it super nice and soft the hair holds the perm beautifully just beautifully if i don't do if i don't have this or tra putting my client's hair during a process i'm i'm not doing my job i'm not giving them the best that i can give them i'm not i'm just not doing it and if you have this in your salon you need to be using it you need to be using the tca you need to be using tra if you love your clients so very simply gang very simply, we're just gonna, we're gonna shake the bejesus out of it too because uh, your TCA is kind of an oil base and this is a hydrogen base, so you really wanna shake it and get in the mix. And very, very simply, gang, I'm just going in and concentrating on the hair on the rods. Getting it right in there, okay. No big deal. I hope, I hope you all out there, if you haven't permed in a while, I hope you're starting to perm. I know I'm perming like a crazy person in here all of a sudden. All of a sudden, I think um, in reality, just part of the new clientele coming in for perms, yes, they're 80 and 90 years old because their hairdressers are dying or retired or moved to God's waiting room, also known as Florida. So they're finding me because they know I do perms. I love that line. Uh, they know I do perms and I know I love doing a, I love doing a great perm and I love doing a great perm because of the products from Dennis Ron Incorporated. So I'm gonna set my timer for five. Uh, let me go find i go find my timer. It's in the shape of an iPhone. I know. It's really neat, these timers. What do we do before these things? I don't know. So while Mike's timing there, we're going to come over here, and I'm going to show you how I do this perm. It's a weave wrap. Okay? I didn't perm. I'm not perming every single head of hair on top. I'm weaving hair out. And you can see right here, I've already done a couple pre-dones. Okay, weaves out. Now watch carefully, gang. This is not rocket science. First of all, I'm going to do a zigzag parting. Okay, just like that. And just like I'm doing, you know, highlighting hair. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna drop that. Okay, so I weave that out. Pull that up. I'd like to do a double flat back wrap because I'm neurotic like that. I think it's just better for the hair. 
Plus it just gets all those little flyaways in there. And another little trick I do is when I'm rolling, oh, see? Oh, he doesn't want to go in. See? I should have rehearsed this, just kidding. When I'm rolling, I like to go side to side. I side to side, it gives me even tension all throughout the ride. Just rolling straight down, sometimes you get a little tent, you don't get enough tension here, enough tension there, it's a little loosey goosey. Reason I do a, a zigzag wrap is instead of having perm lines, if I just do just straight parting, I'm gonna get that line. If I do the zigzag, the lines all blur together, so I don't have any lines. Just a little tip. These are little secrets of perming that were taught to me 30 years ago by Ann Razieri from the now, uh, it's gone, they've turned into the Razieri Institute in New Jersey, but at the school of Mason de Paris, Ann saw me perming one day, uh, rapping, of doing a perm rap, and she gave me some tips, but back then, gang, I wanted to be the fastest perm artist in the world, so I was just rapping my rods like a crazy person not really paying attention to the quality of the rap. And she pulled me aside and she says, what, where's the fire, Mr. Al? And I said, Ann, Ms. Raziri, I want to be the fastest perm artist in the planet. And she said, grab your head and come to my office. So I grabbed my mannequin head, went to her office. She closed the blinds. She unwrapped every single ride. She said, and it was fish hook, fish hook, fish hook, no tension, fish hook, fish hook, fish hook. She says, you can rap like this all day, Al, but you'll never get this client back. She says, our business is built on repeat clientele. So every day from now to the end of the year, and I was only three months in, she goes, you're gonna do a perm wrap, you're gonna bring it in here, we're gonna take every single rod apart. And you'll get fast. Well, I did that for the next six months. I never really got fast, but man, I do a heck of a perm wrap. Thanks, Ann. And her son, Frank, multiple North American hairdresser award winner, real great guy. Okay, so back here, so here we are, coming to the front, weave out, drop, Pick up this little guy over here. He just went somewhere else. But... Okay. And again, double flat back wrap. Now, what happens here? What's the cause? Al, why are you leaving hair out? If anybody didn't ask that question already. And the reason we're leaving hair out is because I'm trying to give a very, very natural, natural look. I don't want it so regimented. I really want to give a nice, natural look. And what, what's going to happen here is that... The curly hair, the curly hair is going to pick up the straight hair and bring it in. So it's going to be a really, really relaxed curl, kind of swavy, not necessarily a, a you know, super curly, just sometimes swavy, kind of straight and wavy. Very, very desirable, extremely desirable. And it's going to be a little bit of water here. Looks like we got about a minute on mic here, yeah? Okay. Very good, just like that. And we'll make this our last one. And we'll come again, again, to weave right out. Drop. Okay. I try not to oversaturate the hair too much with water. It does, I don't want to loosen the power of the waving lotion. So I do go in I've been on the dry side, not, not overly dripping wet. Okay. And we're coming in just like that. And there you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Get that. Look. Need a little buffer wrap. Just like that. Get them all in there. Never let those hairs go. You see that one hair sticking out, gang? Don't let it go. Get a buffer wrap. Put it in there. He will be your enemy if you don't do that. All right. So here we go. Wrap him up. Mike just went off here. You shut him down. Wrap up. If you get a lot of long hair here, if you're worried, you might want to put some conditioner there to make a barrier. Okay, I take the hair, I put it over. And then when I go to put my lotion on, I'm gonna just keep the, this hair is going to, it's gonna get lotion on it. Yeah, but no need to totally saturate it. So I'm gonna get right down there and get, just try to saturate the rod, not saturate the hair that's left out. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're gonna have some collateral, it comes collateral stuff get in there, and that's fine, it's no big deal. No big deal, okay? 
Good. And you set your timer and you're off. Now, Mike went off, so let's go grab your mic. Let's get him done. Let's lean forward, Mike, just a little bit. And here he comes, nice and easy, lemon squeezing. Come on down, we'll decontinize you. And we're gonna rinse for five minutes. While we're rinsing, today behind the camera, we have a special guest, my wife, the beautiful Michelle. Hi guys. There she is. She's gonna be, what I thought you'd do is, to keep the time going, because nothing says, you know, fun than watching me rinse ahead for five minutes. I thought we'd talk about some of the products in the Power Tools line if you're not, not already familiar with it and how fabulous lead lines are. So, Michelle, what would you like to start with over there? STB. Well, here's a great one. STB, stop the burn. You know, we got a lot of clients, very sensitive. We're doing a lot of double processes on scalp to get to those vivids and things like that, and that head can become a little sensitive. So, STB, a little minty uh, smell to it. It does have a nice, it does make the uh, scalp feel nice and cool when it's applied. About 20 drops in the formula takes care of it. No biggie. What else you got there, Michelle? G-O-D. Well, G-O-D, do you want to show, show it there, Michelle? There it is. Gray oxidizing drops. You got that resistant hair. It won't take color. You put 20 drops of G-O-D in your formula, and it facilitates the hair accepting the color because, you know, everything goes right with God every time. CBC. CBC, the color balance corrector. It's based with uh, indigo blue dye, so as you're lightening and you want to try to counteract that unwanted warmth, uh, CBC, about a teaspoon in your formula, will help counteract that warmth in the lightening process. Even though you put it in the bleach and the blue seems to disappear, it's still there. Also, what I really like it for and not talked about a lot, are your level 5 to level 7 browns that go warm. You know, they get that kind of brassy after a couple weeks. You put that in your formula for your browns. Yeah, no problem. You definitely negate that brassiness and help it along and stay neutral. You already did TCA. I did TCA. TRA. Yep, sure. How about we go TCS? TCS, man. Tell you what, you're doing those level ones, the level sevens, level sixes. You put that on the barrier. It's a it's a barrier product. Put it on the hairline. Really good. I mean, really loaded up on the hairline. You will not have an issue taking the dark color off the scalp. It does not impede the hair that needs to be colored. Also great, great skin remover on the, on the skin and on clothes also. CFI. CFI, I never go anywhere without CFI, particularly when I'm toning. CFI is a color filler insurance. It's a hydrolyzed wheat protein that balances out the porosity in the hair. And if I have a head that I'm perming, that's pretty, pretty well Compromise frosty wise I load it up with CFI load it up process under a dryer until that hair is bone dry now You know some of a lot of the plexes will say use this or before you do a perm. I've done that I got to tell you honestly honestly from the bottom of my heart CFI I think I think supersedes the plexes uh, Even for bond I got to tell you even for bond, I think CFI does a much better job, but that's just me you might have a little different Okay? Speaking of four bond. Speaking of four bond, dude, when you're talking plexus, when you're talking molecular bonding agents, this is it right here. This is it. I've used them all. I use a bunch of them. This one here, the easy the four bond, easiest to use. And it does the job. I've gone places, I've gone places with my double processes I would never gone before. Including my wife. Including Michelle. Michelle, can you get a shot of your face? Can you show your hair? Okay, now you see that? The four four bond. We never had to cut Michelle's hair. You know why? Because it just snapped off. That's why. You never had to cut it. Just it would self cut itself. Now we don't have that problem with four bond. Michelle's hair is Woo! intact. Oh, she's very happy about that. Woo! Remember, happy wife, happy life. What else you got, babe? The leave-in. It's so easy to use. You just spray it in. It's not one of these, you know, part two complex uh, things. We gotta let it sit in for 15 minutes. Yeah, because I just want to incur more time. No, you put it in. You leave it in. Uh, great, great, great product to soothe the hair so well. I retail it. The clients love it, particularly my high lift clients with the long, long, long hair. Just love it. Absolutely love it. PCS. We're going to be using PCS in a little bit. The product conditioning and styling aid. Yeah, it's a light styler, light detangler, but after any process, whether it's a color process, particularly a perming process, it takes whatever residual peroxide is in the hair, whatever residual peroxide is in the hair, and it neutralizes it. Okay, so peroxide is H2O2. You spray PCS in the hair. PS will take PCS will take out one oxygen, leaving it H2O. Water. It's simple. 
works every time. Great, great stuff. I, I hate finishing a process if I'm not using PCS. 25 seconds. What do you want to talk about, Michelle? Age to find. Oh, man, that's our argon oil right there. I put it in everything. I put it in at all my gels, all my fixes. I put it in everything. Great for a blowout, great for straightening. And the other thing I do is if I have long hair and I'm brushing out, I'll put some of that in my hand, put the brush bristles through it, and then brush the hair out. You've seen me do this before. And it just looks, it just tames everything down. It's a beautiful thing. Michael, you're done right there. Mm -hmm. Moving right along. Okay. We are looking just fabu. Okay, let me see what we got here. It's my first time handling a towel. Hang on. Okay. Okay, Mike, have a seat up all the way. There he goes. <laughs> Super duper. And we're going to go right into I'm going to drop these rods. We're going to be set up right for the blow dry. I'm going to show you how I use the PCS and the other color additives or the other uh, styling aids I'm going to use here. Okay, there we go. Dropping rods, dropping rods, dropping rods. Here we go. Perfecto. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Great curl. Great nice loose curl. Nice and healthy. It just it just feels good. You put the TCA in there. It just feels it doesn't feel like a crunchy perm. It just feels nice and soft and wonderful. Really, really nice. Michelle, can you hear me PCS? You bet. Back to bed. And we're gonna drop PCS. Look how hard it's so hard to use. Wow, wow, it's so hard to use. Just spray it in. Don't make it any easier. Brett Doesn't says, hey, Who's that? Brett. Hey, hey, Brett. How you doing, babes? All right. So just load it in there. I'm going to come it through. Just like that. And spin Mike around just a wee bit. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. It's, it's already popping up off his head. Look at that. It's fat. Totally fat. I'll take some of the, I'm going to find, start with fine hair gel. I, I love this. By the way, the secret to using this is use a bunch of it. Okay, particularly our, our gals are a bit older and they have like four hairs on their head. Yeah, don't be afraid to load up. Don't be afraid to load up, okay? Don't be afraid. Load it in there. Stuff just wonders. Take that, Michelle, and I will take some straight and curly serum. Now, I like this because it gives me a little slipability and I just do a little square plus it's shine, 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 and more shine. I'm gonna cocktail them together. And that's great. The straight and curly serum's great when you're straightening, but also if you put it in curly hair, it actually blocks out the humidity. So if your client's just wearing their hair curly, it'll stay that way. All right, there we go. And you can see, it's, it's just looking great already. It's just looking absolutely marvelous already. And now, you might've heard about me talk about this a couple of videos ago. Oh yeah. I love my Salon Pro 5600 from Power Tools. Love this baby, why? Because I can put it on I don't have to talk and scream because it's so darn quiet. And by the way, I've been meaning to say about uh, the 5600. When I first showed this, and I was so excited, when I first showed it, I said I didn't put it on high. It come to 340. Well, you know, gang, I wanted to I wanted to update that. I have been using it on high heat. I have been working at 340. I think 340 is the most, world's most perfect drying temperature. It doesn't seem to dry the hair out too much. It's not hot enough to accidentally burn anybody. And it just does marvelous. So I've been doing all my blow dries at, for the most part, on the high heat. I, I find it works out really, really, really well. Mike, Mike is six foot three. He's going to be about six foot five after I'm done with him here today. Absolutely. 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 I'm going to put that on your official stats. <laughs> Absolutely. And you can see, you can already see, let me get right up in front here, Michelle. You can already see how we're just getting that great lift right off the head without it being fuzzy, without it being overly curly, just getting that support that we need. Mike, you know, he doesn't have the thickest head in the world. So this is definitely going to be good for him. Colleen says, hi, Al, looks great. Well, thanks, Colleen. Awesome, thanks for tuning in. we am really looking forward to this one. Okay, so you can see how the curly hair is just picking up the straight hair. It's got that nice and slight wave to it. We're getting that texture that we want. 
and it seems to be working very, very nicely. Very nicely. You know, the Dennis Bernard products, the Dennis Bernard Power Tools, they're here for you, man. You're the hairdresser, they're here for you. They're here to make your styles look better. They're here to make your end results better. Look at that, just. Reminds me of an old Sly and the Family Stone song. I wanna take you high up. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I wanna take you high. Exactly. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. No fuzz, no nothing. That's that Dennis Bernard Power Tools talking. Right there. That's how it does that, baby. Just like that. Michelle, I would could you hand me my favorite? favorite, most favorite hairspray in the planet, please. I don't know what I did without this. Incredible hold. And you know why? It's, it's, it's incredible. It's incorrect. We're not messing around. It is incredible hold. If you need to stop a fly in its tracks, this baby will do it, but he'll wash out too with no residual flaking that's going on. Nice little shake there. I just love, love, love. Oh, the fine mist. The fine mist just goes right in there. Beautifully. Oh, dead, dead. There's a man. A man with the plan. Okay. That's a nice, that's a nice, right here, baby. Get it right there. Yeah, there he is. Perfect, that's Looking usual. back, dude, <laughs> score. All right, looking great, looking great. <coughs> so there's our men's perm. There's our merm. There's our merm, right, merm. Who comes up with this stuff? I really wonder who comes up with this stuff. Really, like, thank you for joining me. But I have something I want to share with you. You ready for this I'm, one? I'm always ready for This is it. always a cool one. <laughs> so, you know, those who come in the say, well, they know I'd like to do this and entertain. If anything, take this with you. There were these uh, two brothers. Who did we say they were? Uh, was Bob it? and Frank. Bob and Frank. It was Bob and Frank. And Bob and Frank had this beauty supply company in town. All right. And, I mean, they're very successful. They did very, very, they were kind of the only game in town. Bob and Frank's beauty supply. And very, very successful. But their business practices, ah, you know, a little little dicey, you know, they, they, they were selling outdated product, you know, and, and maybe they were taking some cheap shampoo and pouring it in an expensive container of shampoo, you know, um, you know they're, they're practicing a little bait and switch, hey, this is on sale, somebody can, oh, we just sold the last one, but here's another one for $10 more, you know, bait and switch, this and that, yeah, they were a little, little, little shady practices, but they had a great business, well, Frank died, so Bob went to his church pastor, and believe me, the pastor knows their business. Everybody in town knew their business. And the pastor, Bob says to the pastor, listen, I'll donate a million dollars to your church if you refer to my brother, Frank, as a saint. Well, the pastor thought about this. He knows their business practice, but he agreed. So the next day at the funeral, he goes off. He starts telling everybody about their business practices, how they bait and switch, how they pour in cheap stuff in their, in, in their expensive bottles. But compared to Bob, Frank was a saint. Not bad, huh? I got that one. I like that. One. I like that. <laughs> oh man, love it. Can't get enough. My poor wife. She's got to hit this. She's got to hear these ten times a day. I do. <laughs> All right, gang. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I think my 15 minutes of fame is up. I hope you um, tried a couple of these. They're really great to do. They're fun to do. And really, it's just like again, it's another income generator. Be good to yourselves. And once again, thanks, Dennis.